So this Chidima Adeshina contested for Miss South Africa and was booted out of the contest because she is from Nigeria. Her father is a Nigerian and her mother, according to her, is from South Africa. Now, after the whole investigations by the organizers of the events who sent the department a request to verify the citizenship of Chedema Adeshina, it was uncovered that her mother is not a South African, which Chidema herself was not aware because she was an infant in 2001 when her mother committed this identity crime. There was a petition. South Africans began writing a petition for her to opt out of the contest. And look at the petition got 1,440 um, signatures out of 1,500. Finally, she bowed down to pressures. She opted out and wrote a public statement on the 8th of August, 2024, appreciating her fans, people that stood by her and stated her reasons for opting out. Only for a Kokoshan lady to win Miss South Africa. And this has generated a lot of controversies, reactions from different people, different countries, spheres of life, South Africans, Nigerians, home and abroad. Twitter has been buzzing, different social media platforms have been buzzing and buzzing with different reactions, which this video is going to entail. Even Nigerian celebrities like Bonner Boy, Tosin Silverdam, most of them, guys. So let me get this right. South Africans were upset that a black woman is that was supposed to win the army in South Africa is from her mother is not a South African. She's from another district, but she was born in South Africa. Only to give it to let me get it straight. Only to give it to an Indian looking woman. You cannot make this stuff up. You cannot. South Africans need to get their head examined. Their slavery mentality is overriding their, their thinking faculty. Mandela will be running on his grave wherever he is right now. You guys are a joke. You didn't even give it to your own black South African women that you have in abundance. You pick your white savior to give it to. Hey, you guys need therapy. I'm telling y'all, you are the big massive therapist. <laughs> Bonner Boy said, so after all that, with laugh emojis, Tyler, who sang water, make me square, make me water, uh, make me go, uh -huh. that's one Grammy over the video. She also reacted. Now, in her write ups, she said, disappointed that this happened to her, but wish you all the best. I will always stand with South Africa. I just feel, regardless of the opinions, she was booed, and that's what I don't stand for. Another person said, someone asked here on Twitter, how will Chidema represent the South African indigenous tribes when she can't speak any local languages? Well, how will Mia, the crowned Miss South Africa, represent the African tribes? Hashtag Miss South Africa 2024. And this Mia is the first deaf South African lady to win this Miss South Africa. She has an implant. Something is implanted in her ears that helps her to hear and interpret different languages. This one is coming from Tosin Sevadam. This Nigerian girl, Chidema, then yesterday was the competition, was the contest, the Miss South African contest. And um, I was actually surprised. I was actually disappointed. Look at the winner. It is actually a white woman that won this Miss South Africa. <laughs> ah South Africans don't want a foreigner who is a Nigerian to contest for Miss South Africa. But a winner, they actually pick a winner, and the winner is from another race. Her name is Mia Lero or something, and that's like a French name. She's not black, she's white, she's from a different race entirely. So I feel like so South Africans would prefer 
someone from a different race to represent them. I was actually disappointed. You know, I was expecting another black female from South Africa to win this competition, not a different from, from a different person from a different race. And um, I think she's 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 a, she's a person living with a disability. I think she can't um, you know all the sign language of a thing. I was I was actually surprised. I was shocked. I was disappointed. Really, they rather give the prize to an, another race. I'm I'm actually shocked. I'm surprised. Like this is I was I was expecting a black to win this, not another race to win, another foreigner to win this. I was wondering, okay, what is this Mia Maya? Will be Mia's name. This winner. What is her native name? Does she have a native name? God, big. Some South Africans are actually calling me defending this, defending Maya, calling it um inclusivity. I'm like inclusivity. This is nothing like you, you can never call this inclusivity. Another person said, imagine fighting a black child so much and ended up with a white. So which African culture and language does Mia LaRose represent? This was all so stupid. This is exactly what happens. Even in the broader economy, blacks pulling each other down only to benefit whites. Ha! You are in Nigeria. You are you are you are dealing with um, tribalism. You go to other country again. You face racism, even among Africans. The low esteem that most African countries eh, have. The way they adore white people, the way they cherish them, the way they make them their gods over their culture, their heritage, their traditions, the way they worship them. Ah, are we sure Africa will be great with this kind of mentality? Are we sure we are going to be great? To be honest, when the news of Chidima and uh, identity came up. I was like, hey, they have started. They're just looking for a way to bring this girl down. They're just looking for a way to exclude her from her not to win. And we know that South Africans and Nigerians, it, uh, the story not the end well at all. At all. This xenoph xenophobic, uh, whatever. It must surely play out in this scenario had it been a real core south african lady won that pageant eh the kind of controversies and reactions this pageant generated ever since the case of chedema believe you me it wouldn't have at least people will be like okay oh, you don't want to give it to an outsider but definitely your very own person won it it's fair you know other than other way around giving it to someone that is not entirely a South Africans and some South Africans are still justifying this. Like, is it because a Nigerian was involved? Like, can someone make that make sense to me? South Africans are not the only one guilty of this. So the same scenario would have played out if it was the other way around mm, in Nigeria here. Yes, it will still generate controversies. They wouldn't even mind that this person has a, a, an African heritage. They wouldn't, as far as it's not from, it's, the person is not from their own country. Africans, we have a whole lot to deal with. We have a very long way to go. There is no unity at all. Though. And to even think that some set of people that have been booing other tribes in Nigeria are still the same set of people. Majority of them are shouting, hey, Ojoro, hey, how, how could you? Hey, how can you? Hey, how would you? Hey, how will you? <laughs> well, uh, eh, people judging people for sinning differently. Ah, racism and tribalism. <laughs> it is well. We should learn to love each other. That is the only way we can move further. We can forge ahead. If not, we will still be in the same bondage we have been for a long period of time that our forefathers, people like Nelson Mandela, fought against. Oh, 
it is well that being said guys that brings me to the end of this video please do give this video a massive thumbs up and remember to smash on your red subscribe button to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on your bell notification to always get notified anytime i drop new video or videos on this channel we react analyze we give trending just celebrity news true crime and true crime stories and to my tony subscribers thank you for always watching liking commenting and sharing bye bye for now as i'm signing off for my next one peace out i love you all bye